Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. We're back in the studio, and you made a point to Stephanie last night. I just want to get this out of the way. When I talk, it usually is a point, but go ahead. Anyway, this was my idea to start doing the show again. And like most things, I usually fall off as it goes. <laughs> but I, I, I want to keep First this, step to getting help. I want to keep doing this morning show. The reason, one, we've been busy. It's been we had to do something here. The other thing was I, that dog is big. I don't want that dog jumping on you. That dog will I jump on I don't want that dog you. jumping on me. I am not. We were working on the no jump a lot. So I finally got them to where I can get them outside. They'll still make noise and relax and not go crazy. So the times that we could have done them in the studio, I was just like, dude, let's just meet at the backyard and get this out of the way. So gotcha. I, I, I did start this show, and I have before fallen off. But I ain't falling off this time. I like doing it. And I think a lot more people are watching it. We so need a we need a clever way to it helps. We don't have to do it in here, but there's really no good way to to have these rolling. That's the key. anywhere else. You know, maybe I could get Dave down at ADS, which is a sponsor, yep. just to make me some individual sponsor. Deals we could hold up to where we could just hold up wherever we were. Because I like doing it other places. I do too. And <laughs> I've had people say that they the like show. us seeing us out. Yeah, and you could do it other places too. But it's it's a deal of I think people like seeing us out. They like seeing us down doing where we're going, what we're doing. So, but always hit our sponsors up. Uh, it's the middle of the month. We ain't even collected, so I think we've done some switching with some. Some so we'll get it. We'll worry about that later. We'll get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Today's subject is: Do you believe? Is this the one you had from the other day? Yep. Okay. Do you believe in karma? Now, before I say this, and we have this argument, and Shane's going to love the show, I am, you already know what I'm going to say, I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. I think karma is just your way of thinking. Your way of being guilty. Uh, your way of being guilty. So, I want to know, do you people believe in karma? Do you believe in karma? I'm scared of karma, that bitch, <laughs> because uh, let's just say maybe maybe I should be scared of karma, and uh, it, it scares me sometimes. But do I believe in it? No, I don't really believe in it. But I do believe when you finally get caught up in your deal, and it, it goes. Karma got me. No, yeah. you got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you. Because if you wouldn't have done this over here. This wouldn't have happened. This wouldn't have happened. So I want to know, do you believe it? That's what I was going to talk about the other day. And and the, and the reason I go there is. And for you people, I do not believe everything happens for a reason. And I, Don't do that. No, no, no. Don't do that. But maybe my interpretation of everything is too literal for you. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. That's it. We that's finally it. came finally. to an agreement on this subject. Finally, yes. We did. That was awesome. But the reason I'm, I, I read a lot of when I post a show and stuff and it's upload, now usually that's my time I kind of look through Facebook and I see people saying, karma's a bitch. Karma's going to get you. You did that. Don't you wait for karma. And I'm like, well, really? Karma don't, it, you made the point. You're the one. You're the one that, or they're the one. That's where every it, one of us have done something that could come back on us that we could label karma. One. I I promise. Sheesh. At least Sheesh. one. Yes, you're right. Thousand. Yeah, you're right. So, do I believe in it? No, but I think it's a very good way to go. Man, get, I shouldn't have done that. I got that. Time. I got that. Got me because I got that right. back then. So I, that was our that was my deal. I want to know, do you people believe in it? So that that's where I'm going with that. Now, Friday is Kevin Fowler, and I'm telling you, after Eddie Money Weekend, after uh, uh, who played Friday, uh, Stony Larue, man, we have been down there having to try to repatch, repair. You've seen the shows. We got the carpet seams glued. Uh, 
it was windy yesterday. Are they professionally glued? No, nah. No, no, no. But what I don't I'm not a Kevin Fowler. I'm not a I I don't I don't listen to that. Music. Kevin Fowler puts on a good, fun, pretty family friendly show. And he's just a genuine nice guy. Okay. I've met him a couple of times. I've been to probably four or five shows of his. And it, it's like all of them. Every time they come back, it's it's primarily the same show, the same songs. But he is he's a founder. Man, it's I would say he's a founder of Texas music. He's been doing it so long. I have seen him one time, <clears throat> and it was at the Melody Ranch. We went, I think you went, and, and I had never... I had never seen him before, and I have to say this. You said it right. From somebody that doesn't listen to his music or that, I didn't have to. Watching him perform and interact with the crowd Mm -hmm. made me, who's not a country music or Texas country big fan, enjoy his genuine, hey, man, I just love being here. I love playing music. It's like me making movies. I love making movies. I love playing music. That and he makes the music he wants to make. Yeah. You know, he's not that Nashville. He's got that new song last year that's making fun of Nashville. You know, but he he has a lot of comical songs, a lot of fun songs like that. And then he's got some just basic Texas country songs that go get your tickets. They are actually moving pretty fast right now. Get your tickets. With so many concerts, people don't have a chance to buy a head. Are they buying a head for Josh Abbott and Eli Young? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they're a little bigger acts, but it's like, okay, this one sold out. All right, man, we got seven hundred tickets left. Man, we got uh, three hundred tickets left. Yeah. Man, there's a line at the door that can't get in. So, wait. Thank you, Waco and surrounding areas. Yep. Get your tickets. That was our deal today, because Chris has got to go help build a website today. I, I, I tell you what. There, there's a meeting at lunch that could have some future stuff for us. Yep. And all three of us are going to go. And I came in. I went, man, can I just not go? Because I I got some stuff I need to do. Right. <clears throat> and y'all know Maddie. He was the first one I shot in the wounded trailer. Manager for us at Cinema and Backyard for a long time. He's been wanting a website. And... I, I promise to help him. I, I think And I did. have stood him up three times. One time, backyard. One time, I didn't just didn't feel good. I had that old crud. And then yesterday, when I had to take her car up there. And we went and back I went, the I will and not stand you up again. Yeah. Because I, I hate being stood up, and karma's a bitch. <laughs> so... Just let y'all. <laughs> That's how we're gonna end That's it. That's how it rolls. We're baby. gonna go. We're gonna get out of here. Give us your deal. Do you believe in karma? The lunch special is today. Backyard. What's today? Thursday. Thursday. I haven't even put it up right now. If Barry texts, I'll put it up. <clears throat> but if Barry don't text, he did not text. So lunch special is something at the backyard. So it's gonna say right here. Go eat at the backyard. Lunch special. I don't know what it is. It's gonna be good. Whatever it is going to be good. I feel real good about what's coming up in the summer and the, and the stuff we're having. People wise, community hey, wise. And coming. thank you oh, for sharing. Yes, thank you. Because we don't have that many friends. No. Nope. But the numbers we get on the show, you know, and upwards of 2,000 sometimes. It's awesome. I know we don't have that many friends, so y'all have to be passing it along. So and Kathy, you. if I need to come over and bring a bottle of scotch to Tommy so he ain't got to fight through getting through all that crap because they're redoing the uh, kitchen with some tile and stuff. I will bring him a bottle of scotch because she was worried he can't get to a scotch. I promise she's probably got some in his boots somewhere. <laughs> right. So don't worry about Bowling that. Bowling bag. Bowling bag. He's got it everywhere. Overnight bag. He's got it everywhere. So have a wonderful day, man. We will be back next week. Uh, tomorrow, we got payroll. We got backyard stuff. So I'm going to put a best of the week together. And Maybe. Dave, if you're watching... What can we do to get these made into a... Yeah, yeah. And our sponsor of the day is Shane Christensen and uh, the guys over at CITS, I had to look because I always say it wrong, who puts in all our cameras, does all our stuff. He's lead singer at 35 South. Amanda has to put up with him.
Kevin and his wife. I can't even remember her name, man. I'm sorry. Why can't I remember her name? But we, we, she doesn't comment a lot and not around a whole lot, but man, I but hate a, that. she's actually way cooler than Kevin. Oh God, yeah. But that don't take much. That don't take much. Until Monday, man, I am Russ. This is Chris. Get your Kevin Fowler tickets. Like and share. We are out.